Hi guys, welcome back to your Not So Ordinary Scrapbook channel. So I kind of took a break the other night. Um, I was getting kind of tired. I had spent a really um, busy week. So I, um, I never came back to this um, after scoring my paper. Um, so right now, my paper is scored. What I used was my trimmer and I put the score blade on it and then just measured and scored it which works really well super easy so now I'm stringing the pages together to make sure that I'm going in the right direction though which I might not be in a second Fred, is this the back or the front? This is the back. So I have some of these upside down. This is what happens when you're not paying attention. I guess I don't need to take off all of them. I don't have to take off this one or this one, but I do have to take off these. I was cruising right along too. I guess I didn't realize what I was doing. Sometimes you have to concentrate. Well, you should always be mindful of what you're doing. <laughs> Sometimes that's easier said than done, though. So, this room is very cold. <laughs> I think that's part of the reason why I didn't come back in here. Um, after I... The other night... I scored the paper and then I, um, is this right? Yeah. I scored the paper and it was chilly in here and Ethan wanted to watch, what do we watch? Oh, we watch Stranger Things. So we're on season two. Which we've watched it all the way through before. This is like a third time we're watching it through again. So, Ethan is a creature of habit. He likes the same series over and over again. Scott is really enjoying Lucifer right now. Which, it's funny. I mean, but it's like... Sometimes I think he enjoys it a little too much. <laughs> Not saying anything, but it's like you like the show just a little too much. <laughs> but I usually watch that with him like on his day off or whatever. He usually picks the shows. I don't normally get to pick many shows in our house unless I watch TV in the bedroom. I kind of knew that that was going to happen when they bought that big TV for me that it was the intention was not that the TV was for me. It was for everybody else. It was that everybody else wanted the TV. <laughs> because I can only recall a handful of shows that I've watched anything on. That was my choice to watch it.
Scott is definitely the king of this castle, that's for sure. He gets to, when he has a day off, he picks what's on TV. And he, every Sunday, he plays poker with his friends. Which they're Hunter's friends too. The guys are all about Scott's age. I mean, other than, well, Christian is a is a little bit older than Hunter, but um, the other two guys are Scott's age. But Scott generally, he likes to play poker with them every Sunday. So. I just kind of do my own thing. And we've been prepping for this wedding. That's going to be, that's coming up shortly in a couple weeks. Or a couple months. Not a couple weeks, a couple months. So, that's exciting. And I just found out from my mom that my niece is getting married. My niece, Courtney, she was the miniature bride in my wedding. And she's getting in, married in May. So we're going to have to take a trip up to Wisconsin in May. So that'll be fun. Am I doing it upside down again? I have a terrible problem with this. Okay. Yep, I'm doing it upside down again. Well, this isn't upside down, just this one is. Okay, yeah. So Ethan and I will probably just hitch a ride with mom and dad up to the wedding. Scott doesn't generally go to anything involving my family. He just, he thinks they don't like him. And so he, he's glad when he doesn't have to participate in my family stuff. But he's not too far from the truth. I mean, my parents and my family, they, they're disgusted with him. It's not that they don't like him. They're disgusted with him. Because of his behavior. Ethan and I are taking a train down there next Friday um, to visit for a week because we haven't done Christmas with my parents yet or my family. Everybody's been so busy. Um, my niece Rachel had her baby and so my sister Jenny, who's her mom, went down to to see the baby for a week. So that was... Um, Is upside down yes um she went down to see the baby for a week and spend time with Rachel and Zach so she wasn't gonna be home and Kenny is flying out to Arizona to see his daughter so he wasn't gonna be home and Dan has had his cancer treatment, so he's been having to go to Kansas City a lot for those or his shots. He's his last his last scan was clear, um, but he has to have shots for the rest of his life. Jenny said so. Um, so that's good. Like. I think it's probably similar to what my aunt 
Ruth has to do. I don't think my Aunt Ruth is a shot, though. My Aunt Ruth has breast cancer, and she, um, it's stage four, but it's been stage four for well over 10 years now. Um, she takes a pill. I think she takes a pill every day, and and her the cancer has not grown it's like she's living she has to live with the cancer the rest of her life but the the pill that she takes prevents it the tumor from growing and i think that that's similar to what i don't know for sure i need to ask dan like if it's similar to what aunt ruth is doing his is a shot but they it's too dangerous for him to have the surgery to remove two of the tumors they said it's too dangerous so he has to take this medication for the rest of his life because that will um i think prevent it from growing or metastasizing so um but i know that i'll see him next friday so i'll ask him about it but so everyone should be home and I'll get to see grandma, which grandma's not doing very well. She, um, the last time I was there, she didn't remember me. And I asked mom, mom said that the last time she was there, she didn't remember, like she acted like she didn't remember mom either. But Jenny said she went to see her before she went down by Rachel and Jenny and, and, um, grandma was with it that day so I think that she just has like on and off days but she is 96 almost 97 so I mean she's she's quite old and I don't think that they're taking very good care of her at the nursing home I it worries me sick and I told mom that and mom was like yeah it worries her sick too but grandma doesn't want to leave because this guy that is her friend, she says her friends are there, but I don't think that the nursing staff is taking good care of her. And I, and the way that she's acting so withdrawn, it just makes me wonder if they're not abusing her. Like if they're not, if they're either neglecting her or if they're abusing her. And I wish someone would like sneak a camera into her room so we could like record because this nursing home she's in is like supposed to be the best in the area and it's like the most expensive nursing home in the area i mean and it was always like very top notch like for years though when my dad like volunteered there it was like top notch but then my dad said it switched hands and another company bought it and then like it went downhill like super fast. So it just kind of makes me sick. But I wish like we could like sneak a camera in and some flowers or some um in like some sort of gift that we give her so we can actually see what's going on. Because they're not going to, like, whenever, like, we're around, they're, like, right with it. You know, like, when we come, when we were there visiting, she came in and she was like, oh, I didn't have time to do this and this and all this stuff. And we're like, yeah, the only reason why you're in here right now is because we're in here. But I hope Grandma's with it when we're there. Because I really want her, I got her something very special for Christmas. And I think she'll love it. Um, a local artisan made it and it's, it's beautiful and I think it'll be gorgeous in her room if no one like tries to steal it, but, and I know she'll love it because it's exactly what she loves. I mean, it's, it's something that I know that she'll love. But if she, it just all depends on like 
if she's coherent or, you know, it's hard to tell what kind of day she's going to have. But maybe since I'm going to be there for a week, we can go several times. And mom and dad are like fully retired now, so they're not volunteering anywhere or anything. They're just enjoying this time. Enjoying their retirement. I'm going to cut this one just a tad bit short. But it'll be fun. And I was thinking maybe we, I might be over there like for Packer, or not Packer, for the Super Bowl. Um, so I don't know what mom and dad are playing for that, but I'm sure Jan, Jen and Dan will come over and and my dad's all excited because he, hopefully, Kansas City. I'm not sure. I haven't, after the Packers lost, I was like, I haven't been following any of it. Okay, so this is my album. It looks good. I like it. I like the way it came together. I think it's going to be really cute. So I'm going to work on the cover now. Um, I want to use some of this chipboard. I don't know if there's numbers in here. This, I've never even used this. This is like, I've had this in my stash for years. I forget about it. I have all this chipboard in the bottom of my Rascog cart. And, um, a lot of it, I just, I forget to use it because I go for the stickers most of the time. So, apparently, I haven't even opened this. <laughs> So, a lot of my stuff is years old, just because I've been scrapbooking since 1999. So, I've collected a lot of stuff over the years. Okay, are you going to open for me? connected in some way. It doesn't open. Come on. How do I get this open? Hmm. I feel so weak. I feel like such a weakling when like things are like childproof. I feel like a lot of things that aren't supposed to be childproof are childproof. And things that aren't supposed, like, are, should be childproof aren't. Like, kids can get into it. At least my kids could. Ugh. Goodness. This is really on here very, very tight. I don't know if this is looped through the whole thing. Okay. I don't know. But it sure doesn't want to open very easily. Boy. Okay, there we go. It's it's coming. It's just being stubborn. There we go. Now, I think this is super cute. This, like, tree. And I think it would match good. Like, if I took this off... I mean, I could just rip it off. Yeah, it works. And that's what the cover of the box looks like. But I'd have to cover up like this and this and this and this. But it's still, it's kind of cute. I actually kind of like it. Okay, so. And these have like punch outs. Okay, so I think I'm going to put, I don't know if there's any numbers in here. Let's see what's in here. I've never even looked at this, of course. 
like December. I don't know if I should just go with DD. Oh, that's cute. Maybe I could use like some of these to cover up. There's a star. I need like December daily. Oh, they're they're cookies. Oh, how cute. Okay, let's see what we've got here. It doesn't look like there's any numbers. Another cute cookie. Here's a C. A D. Oh, that's pretty. Two more cookies. I love it when I get to use these like embellishments that I have had in my stash for years and I haven't even like opened. It's like Christmas. <laughs> these are really pretty though. I like the sparkle or the foil, the red foil. Hopefully all the letters are here. Here's an E, I think. Nope, that's enough. Here's an E. Okay, so December. And then if I do daily, Why? I just need an L. Okay. I think that'll work. And then I'll put a date, like I'll put the date in there, I think. And I think I'm going to use some of these cookies. I don't think I'm gonna put that lid up back on right now because if I use these, I wanna use some of these inside the album. So I think I'm just gonna put it, and I don't wanna have to fight with this again. So I think I'm just gonna put it like this. I'm gonna leave it out here. Okay, so I'll probably have to cover this up. I know that. With what though? Let's see what stickers I have. If I have any border ones. You know. That wreath would look really cute. Okay. Let's open this. See what we've got going here. I don't know. I'm only at 23 minutes. That's not bad. <sighs> I am so exhausted. This week has just like kicked my butt. And that is a fact. All right. So I think I'm going to try to put like this here, but I'm going to have to cover this up first with like a piece of something. What have I got? Like what scrap do I have that I could use? I want something a little bit darker, I think. Hmm. What to do? 
You know what I could do? I could use Baker's Twine. Um, where is my Baker's Twine though? I hate it when I organize my office and then I can't I can't remember where things are. No, I don't think it's in there. Rope would be really cute. I had some rope. Where did I put it? Rope would be really super cute. This would be perfect. I have some thicker stuff, the brown. I think I'm going to use that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this here. I'm going to go around the base of it. The thing is, is am I going to need hot glue? I mean, I could use double-sided tape, I suppose. I'm thinking of putting like a, a bow there, like in front, but we'll see. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put double-sided tape over here, the bottom of this, and then I'm gonna go on the back and put double-sided tape on the back of this here and then I'm going to cut this off and hopefully this will stick so I can like wrap it around the bottom several times. We shall see. I love that I'm using this though. I love using like pieces that are like intent, the intended, the intention of them is just pure decorative. And it's like, it's like, um, It's a throwaway piece. Okay, so let's see if this is gonna stick. I think it is. Okay, as long as I can get it started where it's sticking, I think we're in good shape. So I don't really wanna cut it off yet. winding this around. Okay, so we're gonna go here.
Right in that part. So I don't know what Ethan and I are going to watch tonight. Last night I was kind of frustrated with them because I was working and I went in the living room to tell Ethan I was done and that I was going to go to bed. And he, I'm like, what are you watching? And he's like, the last Hobbit movie. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, I wanted to watch that because we've watched like the first two. We haven't watched the third one yet. And I'm like, you couldn't wait for me? He's like, I'll watch it again with you. I'm like, Ugh. so frustrating. We love Lord of the Rings. Even though uh, I have a really hard time staying away during Lord of the Rings. I love it. I loved the books. Like, the books were, like, my favorite. But, like, the movies, for some reason, I have a very difficult time staying awake to watch them. I have to be doing something. I have to be crocheting or making, like, page clusters for my scrapbook or doing a Sudoku puzzle or Sudoku puzzle or something. I have to be doing something. Otherwise... For some reason, I don't know if it's because it's so, the movie is so, they're so serene. Like, they're so, I don't know what it is. They just lull me to sleep. And they're such good stories. It's just, I, man, it's so hard to stay awake. So, I always have to have something to do. The only movies that I can really just, like, watch and stay awake are, like, comedies because I'm laughing and I'm just enjoying it or, or cry, like, drama suspense. I'm wide awake because I want to know what happened. So, I should have become a crime scene investigator because... That kind of stuff fascinates me. Mainly because I want to see him caught, though. <laughs> it creeps me out when they don't catch the bad guy. <laughs> I want there to be, like, a clear-cut answer. Like, this book I'm currently reading, it's so good. It's by, um, what's her name? Sandra Brown. She's a really good author. I think I own a couple of her books. But, um... It's very suspenseful, and I think that I got the story figured out, but, like, if it goes the way that, like, I think that there's going to be a twist, because there often is a twist, and I hope that, like, in a way, I hope that the twist is, like, the twist that I think is going to happen in the book is not true, because that would be, like... I don't know. Very sad. But. Otherwise the story is just very predictable. Is the problem. I should have put this on first. I'm guessing. Because I need this to go. Like right. Here. And I may have to cut this off at the bottom because it's not going to go underneath there. It's not going to fit. Bummer. And I hope it's not too short now. It's not too bad. I wonder if I could just like. That's better. So I need to put some embellishments like right here and right here for sure. Um, so I'm going to use some of these cookies. 
I think I love the stars. I think they're probably my favorite, the stars and the trees. So I think I'm going to put like a, do I want to put a star here or a tree there? I need something to cover that up. I like the star there. And then if I put a tree here, that covers that up. And then if I like, what if I put like December, like, unless I did like D, E, C, I do like that. Then like separate a little bit. But do I want that now, or do I want, I don't know, I might put a sticker up there. Okay, so let's play with this. Or what if I put, like, D, E, C up here, and then put daily down here, like D, A, Why? I like that. Okay. I do like that. And then, like, put, like, two, two one, like, in that hole. I do like that. But then I think that I need to put, like, something over here. I'm not exactly sure what yet. Maybe a couple of these ornaments hanging down. Okay, so let's see. Let's play with this a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to glue this because I know that I could use red line tape, but I think I'm just going to glue it. I think that that's probably the best option is to glue these letters down. And do that. So D. And I'm not going to be able to like scrap. I'm not going to start scrapbooking today, just because. Um. The chipboard letters need to dry. So, I don't know if I'll have time to do it tomorrow. We'll see. My weekdays are super busy now, so I don't really have time during the week to do anything. But during the weekend, I have a little bit more time. So, it just depends. There's that. Like how that looks. And then I am going to I'm gonna start like on this end. Just work my way across. So we are like in full wedding mode right now. Like I'm going to have, to, we're going to have to go shopping for pants for Scott for the wedding because I ordered him some pants and they're on back order, of course, until the end of March, which is when we are leaving for the wedding. The wedding is April 2nd. So now I'm like, great, you know, this like, 
I'm either going to have to wait for like the back order and then send them back because he's not going to need them because they're dress pants or I'm going to have to at any rate I'm going to have to buy him a pair of pants for the wedding so I'm like why did I even bother ordering those when they said that the back order would be would arrive in February and I was like I was good with that because I thought I had plenty of time so I ordered them anyway and now but he got his tie for the wedding and his shirt we're gonna have to pick out we're gonna have to go shopping for a shirt just because it has to match my dress she wants like the spouses like even though they're not in the wedding he's like the stepdad of the of the groom so like I'm not gonna match Joe of course Joe's gonna match his wife and and Scott's supposed to match me so but I gotta um, decide what we're gonna do about lodging, whether we're going to stay at the resort or, so apparently Joe and his family, they rented an Airbnb. Um, my mom and dad um, rented a condo. Um, so they're not going to stay at the resort. I don't know about like the groomsmen most of I know that like all the brides all the like the female people that are standing up in the wedding they're all her family so I know they're from there so they're not gonna need it but like all the guys are from here like all of Matt's friends are from here um well except for one his boss um is in the wedding and he lives there but um so that is going to be challenging and I don't know if I want to rent an Airbnb just for a few days because um because on um, Ethan and I are staying longer we're not we're not going home with Scott and Hunter and Jordan. They're gonna fly back. They're gonna fly back on Monday, the Monday after the wedding. Or this or Sunday after the wedding, I'm not sure for sure. And Ethan and I are going to stay two weeks because Matt and Yessie wanted us to. They decided to take their honeymoon in May, so they're not taking a honeymoon right after the wedding, which I think is wise. numbers good okay I think I'm gonna use this <clears throat> so so we're gonna go from the guys are going to leave and then Ethan and I are gonna stay with Matt and Yessie for like two weeks because Zayden's birthday is coming up and they wanted me to be there wanted me and Ethan to be there for Zayden's birthday but that would also mean that 
we were going to be there for Ethan's birthday, which is exciting. And then we can celebrate Yessie's birthday too, because her birthday's in April. They have a lot of birthdays in April. So, and Ethan wanted to go to Mexico on his birthday anyways, because he can legally drink. And Johnny said that he wanted to buy him a, a beer for his 21st birthday. Or his 18th birthday, I should say, in Mexico. So, I think we're going to go to Mexico for that. Okay, so I just put a 21 here for 2021. And I like that. Try not to mess this too much because it's like... Even though it's glued, it's like not dry yet. So it's not sticking 100% yet. I might have to put like a, a enamel dot behind that one. Okay, so what else do I want besides that? Besides 21 and... Okay, so I was thinking of doing these ornaments hanging down since it is a tree. Oh, that would be cute. This girl. I should have put the tree here so I could fit this girl in here. Oh, she's so cute. I mean, I could just put her like... I don't know, though. Oh, golly gee. I could put some presents down here. Like at the bottom. Like this. That's cute. And then I could put a couple of ornaments. So I think I'm going to put like this one here. I don't think I'm going to use the girl on this page. I'll probably use it for like decorating the tree maybe. And then I think I'm going to put one over there. Okay. I like that. Okay. And do I need anything else, do I think? This one's kind of crooked. I don't want it to be crooked. Oh, come on. Cooperate. There. I think that's straight. Okay. And do I need anything else? I don't think so. I think that's good. I think that's enough, and I like it. I like it a lot. So that is a cover of my December daily for 2021. And I will try to come back here tomorrow sometime. And scrapbook a couple pages get started on this thing but I'm gonna let it dry and and then we'll get started on it tomorrow so thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you found it inspiring um I know it's a little bit late usually I'm done with my December daily by now um but it's been kind of a crazy January so um and you know this it doesn't matter really when you do it right as long as you get it done so um I look forward to seeing you in the next video bye